Sports and the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. Today, it's live final round coverage of the U.S. Open Championship. Hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo here to call the action for EA Sports at the U.S. Open Championship. We are at Chambers Bay in University Place, Washington, and Frank, this does not look like any U.S. Open golf course that I have seen. No, it's quickly getting the respect of uh, many of the golf pundits and riders out there as just this wonderful blend of links and parkland style golf. It presents so beautifully to the eye, but also it challenges every aspect of your game. And really, you couldn't want for anything more than that when you were going to play a major championship. Designed by Robert Trent Jones II with breathtaking views of the Puget Sound as well as the Olympic Mountains. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Great strike and a great result. Setting up, good chance to attack the flag. This has really been a challenge all day long with these winds coming from different directions, changing speeds. It's gone from 15 upwards to 25 miles per hour. Really a test for the players. safely on deck. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Great sense of speed in that. We know you can make those, but that went right in the middle. Second hole now here at Chambers Bay in the U.S. Open, Frank. It's a relatively short par four. It doesn't mean it's easy, though. Uh, this is more of a strategic hole. You want to lay the ball up around sort of 270, 280 yards, avoid that big bunker on the left. It is going to leave a short iron in, but the hole bends to the left as well as the slope of the land is right to left. Got to take that into account. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time it's for birdie. Has it for another birdie. Two holes, two birdies. Now on to the first par three of the U.S. Open here at Chambers Bay. It's all in front of you. Beautiful uh, view there in the distance. You can see the water. Um, once again, it does slope a little right to left. Uh, don't have to go straight at the flag here. This one's a little bit of a sleeper. Surely not. On the green, and a chance for birdie. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. No problems early, looks good. It does look good, uh, this bode, bodes well. We might, be, uh, we might be in for a very, very low round today. Frank, the fourth hole here at Chambers Bay is the kind of par four that says emphatically, U.S. Open. Yeah, it's not a rarity these days to have par fours that are around 500 yards. This is just slightly shy of that. Once again, it's a stiff tee shot. You avoid trouble left and right. A little bit of a bend to the right on this hole, but uh, don't be fooled by that. If anything, the drive has to be hit down the left side. Wow, Frank, look at that one run out. Just blistered that tee shot. Ooh, that has to be 325 if it's an inch. 
Well, he's going to have to hit the same club a lot harder or just hit another one. Well, that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Well, this is an awkward length. This is a player in full flight right now. It looks too easy right now. Let's go! Check out the elevation change, Frank, from T all the way down to the fairway. No wonder they call this the fifth hole here at Chambers Bay. Free fall? You better take a parachute, that's for sure. But um, you're going to need a parachute to, to land the ball and stop it on the screen as well. Not overly long. Uh, well, should I say US Open standards, uh, 488. You know, these days they stretch it well over 500 yards. But one of the tighter t shirts Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. This is looking really good. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on the easy birdie. Birdie putt coming up. A par on this hole yesterday. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Our featured golfer is already five holes in. Let's take you out now to the sixth. Frank, the Maserati's tuned up early, running 120 on the first few holes here. Yeah, you've got all 12 cylinders going. Just a player in full flight. It's amazing how that club's tearing through the, I don't know, 100, 120 miles an hour. All just sailing down the fairway. Managing to hold those greens. And of course, the greens that are putting so beautifully. So we have a chance to just sort of light it up there today. So a little slow out of the gates, but now Frank's starting to pick it up. Yeah, and into the ebb and flow of the game. We know you can't hit good shots all the time, so if you can just ride out the little bad patches like now, then things can still get up very quickly. See how they do on this approach. Good looking shot right here. Oh, just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. Well, Frank, what a stretch of tough par fours here at Chambers Bay. Now to the seventh, long uphill par four and a lot of trouble to the right. Yeah, and it's all sand, that's for sure. Um, if you miss the field on the left, then it's all June, so take your pick, really. But ideally, that uh, green piece that the, uh, the superintendent often mows each and every day, that's the place to go. And for US Open at 508 yards, if you miss that, that little green strip, then this hole will be hazardous because it's going to play a lot longer than that uphill. Frank, the approach here at the seventh, and there's a lot to consider here. There is. The green at the front is much wider than what it is at the, at the back. It's almost like a tooth or a molar shape. So, you know, that front portion when the flag's there, definitely a birdie hole. Just got to be a little cautious with the green. flag on the back. The green is shaped like a triangle. He's a tooth or more of shape. It's shit like a triangle. I just want to say nice. Thing.
So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. And so that ball does settle, Frank, how far? Uh, well, it's actually my favorite number, 14 feet. Why 14? It's my birthday. My favorite number is 17, and my second favorite number is 19. And my favorite second digit number is 7, and my second favorite second digit number is 9. Another one goes in. Frank, we know we're at a U.S. Open. 500-yard par fours, and here a better than 600-yard par five at the eighth. Yeah, you need a missile really off the tee to be able to reach this par five and two, and not a single bunker really on this uh, on this hole. So this is just uh, long every stretch of the way. The Fairway actually looks a little bit narrower than what it is. There's a little bit more fairway than uh, actually what meets the eye at first. He goes after it like he is here. Frank, I know you like boxing. That was some heavyweight power right there. Smoking. That is a fantastic long shot. There's no way you could hit that without a tail breeze. Surely that breeze had to 400 help. yards. All right, then. Good swing, good shot yet again. Beautiful display of ball striking today. Really in control. And that's another GIR, green in regulation. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. There it is, your eagle. Moving on here at the U.S. Open, we've seen long par fours, not unusual, long par fives, and now we finish this front nine, Frank, with a par three. And this is a, a great example of how a U.S. Open can level the field. Everybody's going to get a tee and a ball here, and this is about hitting your best shot. And uh, this is one hole, if you're struggling a little bit, a little two here is going to go on a long way, pushing you around in the right direction. Oh, this is straight at it. It's a really good line. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. This is a 16-footer. Let's get it. Let's go. Picking up a shot and shaking off that bad start. Moving on to the back nine here at Chambers Bay in the state of Washington. I'm Rich Lerner alongside my friend and colleague Frank Navalo for EA Sports. Frank, what's the tenth hole all about? Dunes left and right, hence the name High Dunes. Uh, obviously split the fairway there. But one of the factors of true links golf is you normally get to putt on the calm. The dunes protect this green from all the wind, so a relatively flat putting surface. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. All right, Frank, what's the best way to approach the 10th? This is probably the flattest green on the golf course, Rich, and, and really, um, if you miss this green, you've made a mistake. There's no two ways about it. It's probably the, the most predictable second shot you're going to have on the golf course. Yeah. 
what a display of shot making this has been, Frank. Oh, that incredible approach shot there. The easiest of birdies coming up. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. It's part for birdie. And no problems there. Yeah, keeps the round going, keeps the momentum on his side. Stepping up to the tee here at the 11th, Frank. It looks straightforward. Uh, you see a big dune in the middle of fairway. You can really take that out of play. Um, get it down there as far as you can. You're going to need to. And then from there on in, it's really just trying to find out exactly where you want to land that second shot so that you can get it on the right level. That's in the fairway. Now playing the second here at the par four. one just inside 30 feet. Oh, certainly you wouldn't feel that close. And on the computer, it registers at 29 feet. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long part, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for Dirty. Kind of a tricky read. Locked in on the read and the speed. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. Hoping to drop only one shot, this for bogey. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his middle. You know they say you have to keep a level head? Must you? Well, what do you do when it's about to fall off? Frank, we just came off that long par four at the 11th, well over 500 yards. Now at the 12th, we go in the opposite direction. This has become a staple at a U.S. Open, the reachable par four. Yeah, the logic would say just grab sort of a mid iron to a long iron, knock it down, wedge it on there, and have no, you know, no strain, no sweat. But uh, who's going to play golf like that? Take the head cover off. Come on, chance it. It's called narrows. The odds are going to be narrow, but you just might hit the ball. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. That is how it's done right there. What an approach shot. What happened there, Frank? Got it for par. With just six holes left to play here at the U.S. Open, we arrive at the 13th. It's a dogleg par four to the right. And in a U.S. Open, obviously 534 yards means if you make a mistake off the tee, the chances of making four here are minimal. So fairway first, it is one of the wider fairways on the golf course. You're still gonna have a lengthy second shot, 
and you must avoid the bunker that guards the front of this green. Oh, that was sweet. Straight down the middle. Frank, a bunker in front of the green here. So how does that impact what the player's going to do? Well, it's not just the bunker, too. It's the ridges left and right that are going to repel a shot. So if you go too far left of that bunker in front of the green or too far right, that ball's going to kick all the way off the green. So really, that bunker's a good line, but you've got to carry it. That's how the game is played, right there. Uh, he's just making it look so easy. That birdie coming up, formality. Nudge this one home, finish it up. Comfortably knocks it in. Frank, a fifth consecutive par four here at the US Open. This is the 14th hole, and I'm guessing by the time you set foot on this tee, you'll know exactly where your game is at. Oh, this one here, great reward for someone that's driving the ball well. If you can drive it you know, down the left middle, avoid that little one pot bunker in the middle of the fairway, you're gonna certainly shorten this hole up. And uh, then you can start to use the contours of this hole too, that bend right to left. And 546 yards becomes much shorter than what you would think. This, the second shot with the part four. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. Now this for birdie. On the way with a bogey on the previous round. Frankie took plenty of time on this birdie putt. He looked at it from three different angles. He forgot one very important ingredient. Yeah, pace. You can definitely fall in love with the line, even with approach shots as well, but obviously we see it more on putting. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, normally in a golf course, you don't want to spend too much time in the trees, with the trees, around the trees, but part of me wants to go up and and hug this tree because he's all alone. It's the only tree on the whole golf course. Well, I know you're a tree hugger, Rich. I really do. But at 246 yards, when they play this off the back tee at the US Open, believe me, nobody's hugging that tree. They're just trying to make three. This hole really sets up well for the player. Birdie yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Trying to make yet another birdie. Oh my goodness, Frank, that is painful. Oh yeah, that's the, you'd rather miss the hole at times, wouldn't you? Just a little tap in here. Always take that. Good par putt right there. Now to the 16th hole here at Chambers Bay and Frank. It is pretty short hole. What are the chances uh, to come out of here with a birdie? Well, you've just come off the short 15th. You can get on a little bit of a run here, providing you get in the fairway first. Um, you're not going to have an overly long second shot here. But once again, this is a precision hole, a little bit like 15. This is a tabletop green, so you're going to have to be right on the money with that second shot. Can we get a measure on that one? That's enormous. 
Frank, really good chance. That rolls 79 position. yards out really, crazy. Really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Oh, it looked like he caught a flyer right there, Frank. Well, I don't know what he caught, but this is way too much. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Not a gimme, but well within his range. That looked like it nearly got below the lip, you know, the level of the lip there. Can't believe that one, Frank. That was a complete horseshoe right there. Has this to save par. Well, considering the lead that he has on the rest of the field, a par is all you need. Pressure's beginning to rise here, 17th hole of the U.S. Open at Chambers Bay, and this one, Frank, the par three will require a really good shot. It's amazing how many U.S. Opens have uh, great 17th hole. I think of wing foot, par three, 17th, even Marion, par three. This one will certainly fit in the same vein. It's name derailed, and it will derail many a player trying to win a U.S. Open. This is a good-looking shot. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice birdie on this hole yesterday. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Now to the 18th hole, Frank, everyone wants to finish in style. Yeah, the home hole here, you know, once again, you head back to just a, a wonderful view, and you realize that Chambers Bay was designed as a walking golf course, and uh, it was designed to have fun and test every department in your game. 18 will do that. It probably gives you more trouble on both sides of the hole than any other hole on the golf course. Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power, though? Looks to be putting everything into this one. Just destroyed it. Oh, he loves that one. You can see it. This one is high, it is deep, and it is gone. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Hut for Eagle coming up to win the U.S. Open. Well, that's not the way you wanted to start out the backside here. Yeah, you can't afford from uh, inside 10 feet. It just, you feel like you have to make those. And um, I mean, they really sting when they miss. And it drops for birdie. Just a great putt and a great win.
Shout out to yesterday being the one year anniversary of Anna Grande's album Sweetener coming out. It came out on August 17th, 2018. And yesterday was August 17th, 2018. And today is August 8th. No, my bad. <laughs> it came out on August 17th, 2018. Yesterday was August 17th, 2018. Yeah, shout out to Ariana Grande's album Sweetener coming out. Her one year anniversary for her album coming out uh, yesterday. Her album came out August 17, 2018. Yesterday was August 17, 2019. And today is August 18, <laughs> 2019. And shout out to Tori Kelly's album coming out nine days ago. Um, called Inspired by True Events. It's her third album. I did 16 songs, just like her first album on Brickle Smile. And I bought it, I listened to the whole thing, it's amazing. And T Kells, those Tori Cutty fans, are going to keep loving and supporting you. Um, and shout out to the VMAs starting in 8 days on August 26, 2018. And um, that's going to be exciting in 2019 VMAs, 2019 the Music Awards. So I see Tori Cutty there also. And, um, yeah, so I think you're gonna it too, I guess, right? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. So shout out to the 2019 Vita Music Awards. Um, and that being all that being said, oh yeah. And shout out to the Lion King. Did the Lion King 2019 Lion King? One uh, it will be out for one month starting tomorrow. I mean, all right. Shout out to Disney's 2019 Disney's Lion King being out one month tomorrow. With all that being said, CBT Narza. Over and out.